This is a shrapnel. Oh, yeah. It's a Peruvian cork. So we put those on, on the explosion so when it goes, you don't feel it, but you see it. Stu Siegel specializes in using Hollywood movie magic to give Navy SEALs and corpsmen a taste of what it's like to be in combat. They've been invading the back lot of Siegel's San Diego studios for more than 10 years. When they're here and it, it's this gunfire going off, it's real. They are in combat. They can intellectualize the fact they're training, but intellectually and emotionally, they're in combat. Siegel used to be San Diego's most prolific TV producer. Beginning in the 1990s, his production company was known for action dramas like Silk Stockings and Veronica Mars. He said it all started coming apart after September 11, 2001. Networks moved away from the action-packed, budget-friendly dramas that made his studio famous in the industry toward even more budget-friendly reality TV. From when I was doing it, you know, we had a, a camera operator and a cameraman and a da 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 da. Now it's all done. Pick up a video camera and let's go. Or take your phone out of your pocket and make a movie. You know, that's, I'm way beyond that generation. I don't quite get any of that. But I see people doing it. And I think it's fascinating. The finances behind the movie industry have also changed since the days of Veronica Mars. Other states began offering big tax incentives to lure Hollywood productions. Georgia and Louisiana actually began filming more big budget Hollywood films than California. In 2009, the state came back with its own tax credit. A San Diego production was one of the first to qualify. I'm Hank Dalworth, and this is my partner, Britt Paul. 20th Century Fox and FX produced Terriers in Ocean Beach. What? Bad things. California Film Commission estimates the crew spent $16 million in San Diego County. Are you saying we're small time? What if we're actually big time and just didn't realize it? Unfortunately, Terriers was canceled after one season. A steady cam is rolling. Many of the local professionals are still around. They often find work on smaller independent productions, like this one with Francine Filsinger, a local actress and president of the San Diego Filmmakers. Oh, that's it. I've had enough. I do get a lot of emails and phone calls. You know, and I'll ask them, how you doing? And they'll say, hey, I'm just struggling to pay my mortgage. I'm just trying to feed my family. And I really don't want to go to Georgia or Louisiana or Vancouver to film. I want to stay here. I want to be able to go to my child's Little League game or whatever it is. And that's a real challenge. Despite the ups and downs, this year California decided to triple its tax credit to $330 million a year for the next five years. Crews get an extra 5% if they film outside of L.A. The first round was for movies. No San Diego films made the cut. The area's next shot is in November when TV producers pitch their shows. Do you miss it at all? Um, rarely. Stu Siegel is happy to have moved on from the TV business. Though California may not be the exclusive hub of the film industry, he thinks the city is still a prime location. It's a great place. It's in you know, a blue sky. It's friendly. I mean, it's all the things you'd love, and it's two hours outside of L.A. Even with all the competition, he thinks San Diego is still just one studio deal away from making it big. Steve Walsh, KPBS News.